Okay, the topic of today's little video um, <clears throat> is basically getting it to work with a different type of um, ROM. So the Comics 35 has been specified to use a 28C256, electrically uh, erasable, programmable, read-only memory. Um, they're a bit hard to get hold of at the moment. Um, and they are almost pin compatible with the 27C256, which I've got there. Um, but they're not directly compatible. So, um, you can buy military versions for $350 each of these ones. Otherwise, I think they're, you know, 12, 15 bucks if you can get your hands on one. Or you can try AliExpress um, <laughs> two, three dollars each. Um, but yeah, your mileage may may definitely vary, so you'd have to maybe buy from a few places to make sure you get something that works. Anyway, um, there's two, well, there's one main difference, I guess. It just comes down to the A14 um, address line. So we've got the 256 on the side, uh, the 27 on the left, 28 on the right. On the 28, so currently, uh, pin 1 is um, selectable via a switch so it's a it's a 32k get that off there it's a 32k um, ROM basic on the comics is 16k so you can fit basically two 16k banks in there so it's selectable between the upper and lower bank so at the moment um, a14 pin 1 goes to that header or that switch um, Whereas on the 27, that's the programming voltage. So you can, I don't know, I've seen some pictures where it's not connected. So it's left floating, but I assume, you know, tight to ground. Um, yeah, anyway. So on the 27C256, pin 27 is A14. Whereas that is the right enable on the um, 28C256. So that's tied to five volts because it's active low. So we don't want it to be writable. Um, yeah, it's quite overkill uh, for this because it's not something we can, you know, flash in circuit. So, yeah, so I've, I've got another video where I show it on the, um, on the computer. But what we basically want to do is, there goes my son again. Um, where are we? So pin one is here. So this is currently A14. So that currently goes up to the switch here. Oh, running around everywhere. Okay. So pin one here goes up to the switch here where we can select whether A14 is high or low. Pin 27 is tied to five volts. So these two are tied together. So if you were gonna change this permanently, um, I think I showed in the video, but you basically want to, uh, where are we reversed here, aren't we? Yeah, so this is A14 here, pin one, A14 coming up here. So what you do is you'd cut that track there, and then here, pin 27, as long as it's not, see that's five volts there, you would cut that track there, and then basically wire that up to here. And then it should work. Um, I don't want to do that permanently um, because I've got a 28C256 and it's working. Um, so another thing you can do temporarily is basically just pull the legs out and then just, just jumper it. So I'm going to give that a go now um, to see if it works. Okay, so... What we want to do, so this is the 28C256, <clears throat> excuse me. Basically what we want to do is we just need to swap these around. The right enable, which is held, well, it's it's active low, so we, we hold it at five volts. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, because we don't want to write to it. Um, and ad address 14, A14 is on pin one. In this case, for a 27C256, these are swapped. Well, basically, Pin 27 is the, let me have a look, pin 27, yeah, is A14, 
and pin one is the programming voltage, I think, VPP. So, I don't know, connect it to ground. So that's basically what we want to do. Um, have a look at the um, PCB. So I'm still trying to... Anyway, so this is the, this is the ROM here. Stop moving. And you can see pin one, which is A14 on the on the 28C256. We'll just scroll up a bit here. It's connected to this um, uh, header here. Well, I've got a switch here. So uh, A14 is either going to ground or it's going to 5 volts. So um, that's how you select your two 16K banks. Um, whereas if we look down here, pin 27, uh, which is right enable, um, is you know held high on the 28256 so oh, I'm sorry it's flicking around like that so basically what we want to do if we wanted to permanently change the PCB um, I would say basically just cut this track here then just tie this to ground uh, pin 1 um, and then cut this track here this 5 volts uh, pin 27 and then um, just wire, you know, just wire it up to the middle pin on the header here, underneath the board, and that should convert it to be um, to work with the 27 C256. Um, and that's that's basically it, I think. So I'm going to give it a try. Okay, I've got the 27 C256 programmed with the two versions of Basic version 1.00 and 1.03 um, we've got I was, yeah I was looking at the wrong pin before wasn't I pin 27 is up here so pin 1 pin 27 not down here anyway so I've got pin 1 which is the programming pin uh, voltage programming voltage pin on 27256 and pin 27 which is the A14 address line so we basically want to connect I'm going to connect pin 1 we want to connect the pin 1 it goes from here to the uh, bank ROM bank select switch we want to connect that over to there, but connect it to the actual um, chip, not the socket, because that's still connected through to 5 volts. So let me let me just strip that a little bit more. Okay. Plug that into pin one. Plug that into pin one. Uh -huh. <laughs> did I break something off in there, did I? No, no. Seems to be okay. Okay. Now we get our chip sticker in. Mm -hmm. Let me straighten the pins a bit first. So I wouldn't be doing this if I was doing it for real, I'd just cut the tracks. <laughs> Much 
easier. Let me get this side in first. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just pause the video whilst I do this. This will get boring after a while. Not pretty, but proof of concept. Okay, let's get it set up and see if it actually works. Okay, let's give it a go. Well, tone is good. And there we go. Basic version 1.03. Okay. Let's switch the ROM bank and version 1.00. So, seems to be working. So again, it's like um, the way I've done it is a really L Dojo, L Dojo um, bodge. Um, but if you can't get your hands on a 28C256 for less than $300 um, or within six months, then um, just use a 27C256 um, and just um, just modify it like that. Um, there you go. That was basically today's, today's experiment. Um, now the, I've spoken about the... Didn't mean to do that. I've spoken about the ROM in the original comics 35 as well that's a different issue um, i believe it, the rom that they use there you can select whether the um, uh, chip enable and the um, output enable or something are active high or active low and i think they've chosen whatever opposite to the 27c so what's the 27 output enable is active low chip enables active low so it might be active high um, they might be using active high, so you can't just. It, otherwise, it's pin compatible. Data lines and address lines and everything else is pin compatible. But because I think they've got the inverse um, on the chip enable, it won't work. But of course, you use an inverter. But that's um, that's something for another another time. Uh, cheerio for now.